Hi guys, welcome to Glaze Donut Makeup. My name is Leah Ray and I'm a professional certified makeup artist. So hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and stay tuned to learn how to look as yummy as a glazed donut. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. So today I'm clearly in a different location. I'm filming from my childhood bedroom, actually. I'm home for the weekend, I'm helping them prepare for Thanksgiving. It's a really big holiday in my house, so we get really excited, my mom and I make custom made menus and place cards every year. It's it's a lot of fun. It's definitely one of my favorite holidays of all time. But I thought I would take the opportunity to film a video for you guys and a tutorial because I felt like it and I can. So I actually had a request to do a tutorial on one of my looks, um, a look I kind of call my unicorn look. I used the Conspiracy palette to do it. And I thought that was a really good idea and it was a really fun and relatively easy look to do. So I thought, why not? And since we are going to be doing a unicorn inspired look, I thought, why not wear my little unicorn horn? Isn't it cute? Okay, it's not quite on camera, but it's super cute. So let's get started. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is brows. I recently tried out the brow MVP from Fenty Beauty, um, and this is in the color True Red, and I've been really liking the way it looks. I'm gonna just do my brows real fast. Okay, so the brows are done. Came out looking very bold, but I'm okay with it. Uh, so next what I'm gonna do is I'm going to prime my eyes. So in my previous video when I reviewed the Conspiracy palette, I said I had to experiment more with different eye primers because I wasn't happy with how some of the payoff of some of the colors were on my eye using the MAC Painterly Paint Pot as a base. So over the past week, I have um, experimented using different primers and I definitely works better with a more of a tacky base. So I have been using my uh, Tarte Shape Tape uh, Concealer as my eye base when I've been using the Conspiracy Palette and I've been really happy with the results. So that's what we're going to do today. And I also just wanna say a side note, I am at my parents' house right now, as I mentioned, you will hear noises. This is an old house. The walls are very thin. Um, there, I, there are two dogs in the house and my parents and the TV. And I mean, I'm loud. So just my parents are definitely loud. <laughs> We're just loud. So uh, please apolog apologies in advance for any sounds, uh, sound pollution. That's the reason why. So let's prime the eyes. Boop. Boop, a little more here. Okay, so now we're gonna get started with the eyeshadows. So the first color we're gonna go we're gonna go into is actually two colors. So we're gonna go into the shade. We're gonna go into both Trisha and my pills. Okay, so I'm gonna dunk dunk a little bit in both and just knock it off slightly. And then I'm gonna go right in the crease. Now, if it's too pink like that, to me is a little too pink. I'm gonna go back into my pills and I'm gonna go over it to help dilute it a bit. I am pretty happy with how that looks. So next I'm gonna take a flat brush like this, which still has some makeup on it. And I'm going to dip into the shade, what's the tea? This light blue one in the corner. And I'm gonna put that on my actual lid. And I really want this to be pigmented, so I am going to pack it on. I really love this color in the palette. It's so different, just like me. I'm pretty happy with that look. I know it's a little messy. That's actually okay because the next step we're gonna do is going to help fix that. So now I'm going to take a smaller brush, much like, much like this one, this tiny little one, and I'm going to dip into the shade Conspiracy, which is the green one over here. 
and I'm going to put that back in the crease. So between the blue and the pink, I'm just going to sweep it through like so. Don't need a lot, just a little for a little definition. Next, we are going to take a rounded brush, a rounded brush like this one. We're going to take a big rounded brush like this one, and we are going to dip into the shade Just the Theory, which is this shimmery pink one up at the top. And then I'm just going to go, I'm going to come a little closer. I'm just going to go on the outside edge doing circles, kind of making a smoky eye, rounding it out like so. So I'm just putting some more of the what's the tea back on because I just really want it to be there and when you put the just a theory on it kind of um you know it changes the color you're blending two different colors together so I'm just putting this back over on top just like so so next what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do a tiny little wing um the Actually, the eyeliner I've been using lately to do my wings is actually this little sample I got of the Maybelline um, Master Precise All Day Liquid Liner. And this stuff I love. So the reason why I really like this um, felt tip liquid liner is because it's a stiff tip. Um, many felt tip liquid liners, the top is like flop like kind of like wobbly. It just like moves around a lot. So for someone like me who has hooded eyes and my eyelids are kind of wrinkly, that it makes making wings or using the liner very difficult because it'll go into the lines. It's not a, it's not like it's a flat canvas. So, but having a stiff tip like this really makes it easy for those precise thin lines. So I'm just going to quickly do this. Um, I'm going to do this off camera and I'll come right back to you. See you in a minute. Okay guys, I'm back. My wings are on. Pretty good. I did that actually in record time. I'm shocked how fast I just did that. Next, we're gonna do our face makeup. So today I'm going to use this concealer, which is a drugstore brand. This is sold at Walmart and at Ulta. It's actually, so it's by Flower Beauty, which is owned by Drew Barrymore. So that's pretty cool. This is the Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer, and this is in the shade, I believe, Fair. But, because I almost forgot, first we're going to put on primer. Uh, the primer I'm going to use today is the No Pore Bloom Primer by Touch to Soul. I love their products. I love their primers. This one in particular is my favorite. So, And it smells so good. We're gonna cover our mind, body, and soul in this, and we're gonna blend. That was all from one swipe, one dunk in here. So you get quite a bit of bang for your buck. I really like this concealer because of how it lays on the skin. Um, and I think it's a really, really good quality concealer, especially for a drugstore brand, um, I think it's a really amazing, I just think this is a really good concealer. Like really, really good. Um, next, I'm going to use two other concealers. So I'm going to put the Benefit Cakeless um, Concealer uh, under my eyes as well. And because I wanna make sure I get that little extra brightness under my eyes, because I hate dark circles, I'm going to use the Jeffree Star Magic Star Concealer in the shade C0. And I'm gonna just put a dot here and here. And then I'm going to blend again. Next, before I go and put on um, some setting, some powder to set it. I want to actually use another, another cream product. I'm going to do a little bit of a contour and I want to use the Fenty Beauty Matchsticks and this is in the color Amber. So I'm just gonna So 
So I go from the top of my ear to my jawline. To my corner of my mouth, not my jawline. And next I'm gonna take my beauty sponge and I'm just gonna blend. go a little cream contour for you okay next I'm going to we're going to set my under eye as you know I like to use color correcting powder under my eyes this is the dragon beauty uh, face tram trans transformation face powder so just gonna take my handy dandy Jeffree star brush and I'm gonna dip into both colors and set that under eye before it creases I mean, look at the difference. You can literally, like, I can see a little bit of my under eye right here. It's gone. I just think this is, I just really love color correcting powders. Next, we're going to do a little bit of bronzer. So I'm going to use my handy dandy Marc Jacobs Omega Coconut Bronzer in the shade Tantastic. Next, I'm going to use, um, I'm going to do some blush before I continue using the bronzer. So today we're going to use Benefit California blush. <laughs> today we're going to use the Benefit California blush. I love this blush for a couple of reasons. One, the packaging is so cute. I think she looks like me, so whatever. But that's why I was first attracted to it was because of the packaging. And then I opened it and it's this beautiful like corally shade. Oh, I love it. And the way their blushes smell. Oh, if they sold this as a perfume, I would buy every single bottle. So Benefit, please make this scent into a perfume. I will buy it. Oh my God. I would stick my face in there all day. All right. So we're going to take a blush brush and we're going to dab in there. We're going to do our cheeks. Next, we are going to go, go into our setting powder, which is I'm using the Beauty Bakery Flower in the shade Translucent, and we're going to cut our jaw. So I like to use this. Um, oh, my God. Look how it's just coming out. Oh, my God. I like to use this little tool from the Beauty Blender Company to cut my jaw, but you can use a Wet Beauty Sponge. You can use, you can literally use whatever you want. So. Eek. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. So next I'm going to go back into my bronzer and I'm going to take my favorite nose contour brush, which is this one by Zorea. And I'm going to contour my nose, which is one of my favorite things to do. All right, next we're going to take a little brush like this one. And we're gonna go back into the conspiracy palette. So we're gonna go back into the shade, what's the T? And we're gonna put that under our eyes. We're gonna also go into the shade conspiracy, which is the green shade. And we're gonna put that in the middle. Next, we are going to take a tiny little brush like this one. And we're going to go into the shade Ranch, which is that white shade in the corner. And we're going to put this in our inner corner. I'm going to also take this brush. I'm not going to add any more product, but I'm just going to put it under the lid, put it under my brow bone. And you know what, because I'm not quite feeling like this look is done 100%, I'm going to add something to it. I'm going to take another flat brush and I'm going to go into Diacola, which is the silver shade. And I want to put a little bit right here. I just want to put a little bit like in the inner part of my eye.
like that. That's cute. She real cute. Mm -hmm. She a cutie pie. So next I'm going to take this by NYX. It is for your waterline and it is their um, faux whites. And it comes in a bunch of different shades. This is the color. Um, what color is this? This is the white smoke color. And I'm going to put this in my inner waterline. So I'm just going to take this. You can also use a damp beauty sponge. Anything you want. Just don't touch your face after you put your face makeup on. Otherwise, you're going to get your fingerprints on your face. and your, You know what I'm saying. Don't touch your face. So I'm going to pull my eye down and I'm just going to pop that in. So next I'm going to put on my mascara. Today I am using the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. My eyes in a cage. Ah! <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, so now I'm going to take just a clean powder brush and I'm going to wipe off this powder. Like so. Next, I'm going to do my favorite part. We're gonna do the highlighter. That's not the highlighter. Where's the highlighter? Oh, it's here. So I have two highlighters to choose from today. We have the Elf and Nabella Noir uh, Loose Highlighter, and I have this one by Manny MUA from Lunar Beauty. Um, this has a lot of, it's like white gold. I think I wanna use this one. It goes a bit more with the vibe I'm trying to do. And since we're using it, why not use the Nabella Noir highlighter brush? So we're just going to take a little bit of this and I'm going to go right here. So I actually left my lipstick I was supposed to use for this look at home. But I had this in my purse and I thought this would go really well. This is by Anastasia. It's a lip gloss and this is uh, the lip gloss in the shade Moon Jelly. And it smells like cake. So good. Uh, just kidding. And just like that, our look is complete, you guys. So let's take off the unicorn horn because we finished our unicorn makeup. Bam. Voila! What do you guys think of the final look? I think it's pretty cute. I like it. I like it a lot. Anyways, it really wasn't a difficult look to make and you could do it with the conspiracy palette. Um, if you want to know, uh, if you want to list the products I used, please look below in the description. I will have them listed there. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So this is the final look. Make sure you please like and subscribe to this video. It will mean the world to me because I appreciate you and I appreciate every single one of you who watch my videos. And that's pretty much all I have to say. And make sure you follow me on Instagram. My Instagram handle is glazed.donut.makeup. I will be doing a giveaway on there once I hit 1,000 followers. So make sure you follow me to get in on that action. Anyways, that's it, you guys. Have a glazed day. Bye now.